What I'm doing here in San Francisco is working with materials that I've collected since 2010, which is when I initiated the project. Uh, so at this point, the archive is comprised of about 3,000 photos, photo objects, albums, slides. And um, so everything is sort of ripe uh, or at hand. And uh, I'm just trying to work with this space, uh, the sort of specific architecture of SF camera work. And, um, you know, it's a pretty generous space. Um, there's some really great, wonderful, long sight lines. Um, so it's an opportunity for me to show some uh, larger, uh, lar larger wall gestures that might be less appropriate for a more intimate space. Uh, at the same time, um, the project is very intimate. The photographs are not enlarged. You're seeing the photos as they're sent to me. Um, there's uh, not really any reproduction. The goal for me is to mount something that um, has a sort of epic scope, but uh, kind of keeps the dignity or the tautness of each individual submission, whether that's one photo or 200. Other projects I've done, if I'm working my way up to sort of asking the public at large to participate, I start to ask friends and family and friends of friends and I just start to get a sense of what materials might look like, take a sort of temperature reading about people's willingness to hand things over if they understand the project quickly or less quickly. Um, and so really it's kind of about concentric circles. Two major categories first is um, public and private submissions. Public submissions are submissions that are able to be exhibited freely. Um, the, the, the original participant uh, approves uh, the images themselves showing up in a community of like-minded images. The other category is private images. These are images that um, in some way I can show them as existing in the archive, um, but I can't reveal the image. So uh, sometimes I'll mount those particular pictures image facing the wall, or they might be in stacks, um, or wrapped up in some way. Uh, so even though those images you're never um, privy to as charged objects to me, and I think to the eventual audience, um, they carry uh, a significant charge. It's just inexplicable. You start to see all the sort of shapes and forms of personal archives, um, how people um, photograph when they photograph not for art reasons but for diaristic reasons um, or, or to paint a picture of themselves of the experiences that they're going through. I think what's on offer is kind of the complexity of people's archives, the idiosyncrasies, and also the instability, the sort of complete unadulterated enthusiasm that people make these images with, with originally, and how charged in different uh, ways they become. You know, it's like a very normal phenomenon, but to know that that image has like a sort of before and an afterlife, I think is a very uh, kind of, it's like a sort of glue that keeps us all together. So it's a, it's a lifelong commitment, which I think is really important because there, there's a certain kind of responsibility and possibility that these pictures have. Um, so not only during the length of this exhibition, but in perpetuity, you know, um, the archive will be uh, an ongoing an ongoing place for these images to end up if need be.